Hi guys, welcome back to the Fashion Archive and today I'm going to be telling you about the secrets for how to get into the fashion industry that people really don't want to tell you. If you watch the video, uh, the channel even, uh, across summer and even as far back as one and a half, one and a quarter years ago, you'll know exactly who I am. I'm Micah, I, Io and I are longtime friends, family friends. Um, and the reason I haven't actually been making and being part of videos recently is because I've been, as well as uni, I've been really getting into styling, which is something I've wanted to do for a long time, but I didn't know how to do it and how to start getting into it. So I'm making this video to basically help you with the things that I couldn't do and fast track your entrance into the fashion industry. So quick disclaimer, um, even though I'm going to be talking about my experiences, which happen to have been with styling, the things and tips I'm going to give you definitely apply to many other fields in the fashion industry, such as makeup, hair, photography, creative direction and art direction, many different fields. So if you're interested in any of those and not styling, I still definitely recommend you listen to what I have to say. So I'd say I first started really getting into styling or doing anything with styling about one year ago. And since then I've done quite a few editorials, lookbooks, shoots, and I've done art direction for a couple shoots for um, brands such as Boiler Room, I've done a lookbook for the Edgeder. Um, I've also, I mean, some of them I can't talk too much on just because they haven't been released yet. But I did an editorial, which should be actually released the day after we're filming this, but I don't know when it's gonna get uploaded. Um, I'll try and include some pictures and stuff, of work I've done in the video. But again, lots of it just hasn't happened to have been printed or released yet. And I don't think I'm allowed to show it if it hasn't been, but we'll see, I don't know. Okay, so I'd say, let's say you're a blank canvas. You haven't got anything to do with the fashion industry yet. I'd say step one is definitely look online and on Instagram for an internship by either following different stylists or whatever your personal field is. I'm just gonna keep saying stylist actually for the video, rest of the video but like, if it's makeup for you, apply it to that. Follow different stylists and look out for opportunities because we all put stuff on our story like we need an assistant or we need someone to help us with this. So keep an eye out for that. And those will likely lead to internships. So for me, I did an internship at the PR agency, The Lobby London. Uh, they represent brands such as Paria Farzane um, and many other brands within that kind of circle three paradise brands like that and through that internship not only did i meet people within the industry i got to make friends who have done stuff in the industry and could give me their own tips or help me get to where i want to go so again definitely just keep your eyes peeled follow different people on instagram that are in your preferred profession and make sure you're looking at everything that's going on. Now a step following on from that is to now that you follow all these stylists, literally DM all of them. I know at first it can be nerve wracking, but you shouldn't be afraid to ask. Just DM them like, oh, I'm trying to get into styling. Uh, if there's anything I can assist you with, please can I? And at first you're gonna be nervous because you're gonna be like, oh, what if they say no? What if they this? What if they that? But that like doesn't matter because if they ignore it, it doesn't detract from your life. Your life isn't any worse. Your career isn't any worse. If they say no, okay, well, there are a hundred million other stylists on the app or like, there's not just one stylist in the world. So even if one says no, you can always ask another. It's like applying for jobs. When you want a job, you don't just apply to Asda, you apply to Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury's and so on. So that's definitely a big key and something that it kind of took me a while to wrap my head around because I was very nervous about it all. Now, this one, I promise it's only this one, <laughs> but this one only applies to stylists. 
but there is a group on Facebook called Assistant Stylus. It's got right now about 2,300 members. And for this group, different stylists um, and then people looking for stylist jobs post. So the stylist will say, oh, I need an assistant for a shoot on the third. The pay rate is $90. Or if you're looking for something, you say, oh, I've just got into the industry. I'm looking for a job. And it's just a really good group to be in if you're a stylist because you get to see loads of jobs that are quickly available. You just message the person. If you guys have good chemistry, you get to work with them a lot probably and just kind of learn a lot from them and shadow them. So if you're wanting to get into styling, I definitely recommend you join that group. However, I'm so sure that there'll be an equivalent for every other field. So maybe assistant makeup artists or assistant hair artists or so on. Like there's no way there's only one for styling. So again, I definitely recommend that. Now, even if you're not directly involved in the industry at all. So in my personal experience, I was lucky enough to already um, be s not necessarily in the in industry, but being part of the fashion world or fashion scene in London. So I had friends who happened to be models or I knew lots of people who were stylists or I just had, I had a small network that were already in the industry. So if you have anything like that, you'll likely be going to a few events, like maybe a G-Shock event or any kind of brands just tend to have small events. I mean, I don't know what it's like in other cities, but in London, probably every day of the year, there's at least one fashion related event going on. So if you go to any of those, talk to people, ask what people do, find out because there's you're definitely going to encounter someone who is able to help you in your journey and your career whether it be that they're the head of a department and they can help you get a job in that department or whether that they're the editor of a magazine and they can let you style the next person they shoot anything like that so it's really good to talk to people and just network and again, this is another one that I can imagine seems really nerve wracking at first, but you just kind of have to get your head around it. And the final point I'm going to make, but probably and arguably the most important one is just do it yourself. So if you want to be a stylist, literally conduct your own shoots with your own clothes, get a friend to model for you. If you have a friend who is a model, lucky you. If you have one that's not one, but wants to be one, this could help both of you. Put them, pick a theme, put them in your clothes and start styling them. So I'm sure you all have a friend or know someone that has one of those makeup ac accounts on Instagram and they'll be promoting it on their main Instagram. And yeah, at first when you see it, it might be annoying, but if you think about it from their perspective, they're just trying to get their work out there however way they can. And I recommend you do the same. If you're a photographer, make a photography Instagram and post your photography, anything like that. Because ultimately, as I said, if you're starting from a completely blank canvas, you need, well, it's helpful to have some work to show anyone you wanna try and work for, to show them that you have some capability, some potential. So let's say you've never done a photography job before, but they can see that the photos you take are very good. They're gonna wanna use you and help you and just like you, it really helps like like I can't stress enough how important it is to just do it yourself style your own shoots do your own photography themes and phot photograph them like anything like that it's really important I really recommend it now obviously I've only said four main points like it's impossible that I've covered literally every tip for the, that there is to getting into the fashion industry and having a job in fashion. So if you know more, definitely put them in the comment section for everyone else to read. I love to read them because obviously I've only been styling for about a year and there's definitely still plenty of stuff I can learn and tricks I can learn. Io as well, he's wanting to get into so many fields within the industry. So I'm sure there's stuff you can teach him. So if you know anything, definitely comment below. If you have more questions, comment below. I'll try and reply them. If I can't, I'm sure there'll be someone else who knows an answer or has an idea. So I want this to be a sort of conversation or discussion in the comment section as well and really just try and help everyone because I really remember how difficult it was for me to try and work out how to 
become a stylist, how to get into the industry. I just didn't know what to do. So definitely help everyone else. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. Like if you enjoyed it. If you really hated it, dislike it, I guess. But why would you do that? So, But um, um, I'm going to... There was a comment the other day, and it was something I was already working on, about how to find your own style. I'm definitely working on that. I don't know when it'll get uploaded, but that's coming soon. If you have anything else, again, put them in the comments. Even if we don't reply every comment, and we really do try to, we're gonna see it. So give your suggestions below. And thanks for watching. Yo, did you see that guy that commented the other day? He was like, your eyes are hella red. Drink some water. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> Do you know what it is? So my eyes are actually always red when I come out the shower. I don't know why. Oh, I think it's to do shower. with like, you know the face wash I use, like makes my yeah. eyes red. So I filmed the video after I came out the shower. So it's like, oh my God, bro. Like, <laughs> your eyes are red, bro. Like, drink some water. Come. Check. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. But like he needs to make another one of those, I swear. <laughs> I just don't want people to feel like, oh, when they see it, oh, this is only for stylists, and let's say they're interested in makeup, and it's only for stylists, because, like, it's very much the same for so many Yeah, years. that's why, <coughs> even with the title, they'll watch it for a bit, and then get the vibe that actually, you know, it's not just because, what is about stylists, isn't it? <laughs>